Hi guys, it's Beverly. Today I'm going to do a little bit of crochet time and some channel recap. Because I know that I have a bunch of new subscribers. Thanks to you guys. You put me over the top for a thousand subscribers. Thank you guys so much. So first thing I want to talk about is what I'm working on for crochet time. It is a baby blanket. And it is the Summer Baby uh, Blanket from Olga Politen. Sorry. <laughs> I've linked it a couple times. Um, it's called the Summer Blanket. And I'm going to um, link it below again and see the pattern. I just love it, you guys. What it is, is um, she said to chain 141. I didn't chain that many. What did I chain? I chained 137, I think I did. And I'm using a G hook. And I'm using Bernat Softy Baby in the color Baby Baby. If you remember the video before this, um, when I was I had a crochet time, I was talking about Baby Baby and Baby Baby Ombre. And this is just the Baby Baby. <laughs> I'm almost done. Uh, the blanket is 32, and the last time I measured it, which was right here, where that stitch marker is, I don't know if you guys can see it, it was 22. So, I only have a little bit more of the skein, so I'm going to put the rest of the skein in here, and then I'm going to put a white border on here. And she has the border listed in the pattern. <clears throat> Excuse me, remember, I'm finishing up with my bronchitis, so I hope I don't make a lot of noises here. <laughs> so that's what I'm working on. And what I've got coming today, I've got some yarn Bernat Super Value coming in the colorway um, light pink or something like that, baby pink. Um, because I have to finish another pink blanket, hat, and booty set. So I've got that coming in the mail, so I can do that. Oh, I want to show you, I made a whole bunch of hanging towels for my craft show. So I'm going to go get those and... Okay, I'm back. So here's the hanging towels I made. <laughs> and... First, I started off by making these rooster ones. I found these on Amazon, and they were in a package of eight. And the first thing I do, no, package of four. Then I cut them in half and made it eight. And as you can see, I use my sewing machine. I press the towel, and I use my sewing machine to... Fin fix the raw edge because I don't like the raw edge so I've got three here that I didn't make so I made five of the rooster and of course these are all for sale they're five dollars plus shipping and I got this one left over from Christmas and it's called comfort and joy and then I've got two of these with a little mason jar and some flowers. And then, see these are all going to be at my craft show on Saturday. And then this one is really cute. This one says meow, meow, and has cats on it. And it says, if my cat was my boss, my life would be perfect. 
and I just saw it. Now this color is coming out blue, like my shirt, but it's not. It's got a teal color to it. And then rooster, rooster, how many more roosters? Rooster, rooster, I guess that's it on the roosters. And then I found these dogs. Now this is a really nice towel. This is a tea fall towel. You know the pants, tea fall. I saw this at my grocery store and I just thought it was so cute. And it's dogs and it says, what's it say? Fetch, play, stay, bark, sit, roof. <laughs> I thought that was cute. Oh, another rooster. Mm -hmm. Another dog. This one's kind of a light blue, but it has a little bit of teal. And then I missed out on Valentine's Day, you guys. I had these towels, but I didn't do them. And then I have, if my dog was my boss, my life would be perfect. My life would be perfect. And so this one is perfect. The dogs. And then the last one is the cats again with a gray. But I, I got these all ready for my craft show. So that's what I've been working this doing this week. Is making those. So I had something to sell at my craft show. Like, like, I don't have, or you have some inventory. But anyway, I've been working on those. And I've got another blanket started, which I'm using the Red Heart Ombre. You know, the real nice um, gray colors. I showed it in a video before, and of course I'll be showing it again. But I really like it it's an easy pattern so here I am making my baby blanket now the baby blanket here you do you chain the 137 that I mentioned then you skip four yeah so in the fifth double crochet you do four double crochets, chain three, double crochet, all in the same stitch. And that's how this is. So throughout the whole thing, four double crochets, chain three, double crochet, all in the fourth chain, all the way across, right? Oh, in the fifth chain. In the fifth chain all the way across then in the next row and all the next rows is four double crochets chain three double crochet in the chain three space and it makes this like granny that's laying on its side and on one row it's going facing one way and another way it's doing another and I I really like it um so that this project will be wrapped up then I wanted to also talk about some of the videos I've made in the past and do what is called a channel recap so so hopefully you guys will watch more of my videos. Now, the first thing I want to mention is when I have several tutorials on my channel. And I'm going to be mentioning those. But whenever I do, do a tutorial, I show you how to read the pattern. And with all the people that I meet 
personally and helped them learn to crochet, I insist that they learn how to read a pattern because I have friends that don't know how to read a pattern. And I want you to learn how to read a pattern because if you learn how to read a pattern, you can make anything. Sure, we can go on YouTube and we can search to get help and positive reinforcement for what we're doing, but you really need to know how to read a pattern. And my number one rule when reading a pattern is to follow the punctuation. And if you watch any of my tutorials, you'll see that I break it down according to the punctuation. Now, the first one I wanted to mention was my most watched video. Do you know I have over 5,600 views of this one video? I can't believe it. 5,000 views. <laughs> It's my most watched video. It's called the Crochet Any Size Slipper. Crochet Any Size Slipper. So, I show you in there how to measure the foot and crochet a slipper to fit anybody's foot. Right. My yarn's getting tangled. See, this is what I got left. And the point of it is, is I want you to learn in that pattern the magic ring. I show you how to do the magic ring, the magic circle, whatever you guys want to call it, to do the toe. And um, I can't believe it's been viewed 5,000 times. Next, my next one on my list is the basic stitches in learning to read a crochet pattern. So, again, I'll show you, you know, the, the chain and the single crochet and the double and the half double. And I'll show you how to read a pattern. Because that's my goal. I want everybody to read a pattern. The next, and there's going to be links for all these below. The next one is learning the crochet magic ring or the magic circle. And so that video is just specific to learning the magic ring. Then I show you how in another tutorial to how to make a ripple blanket. You know, the ripple goes up and down. And I teach you how to read the pattern. Again, following the punctuation and reading the pattern. Next, crochet sock tutorial and learning to read a pattern. So I show you how to crochet a pair of socks in that tutorial. The next one, newbie series. I show you how to crochet a hat in the first video. And again, the magic circle is used in that pattern uh, because that's how I do the crown of my hat. And you'll learn the slip stitch and double crochets and you'll learn how to make a hat. Below that I have Crochet Newbie Series number two is a granny square. It was a riot when I learned how to make a granny square, you guys. I had such a hard time at first. It was so funny. I had watched some videos on YouTube because I didn't have a peer group or anybody to show me. So I watched videos on YouTube and I had tried during the day, and when I went to sleep, I'm still thinking about it. I can't do this. I can't. Why can't I do this? 
do you know I got some yarn and about two or three o'clock in the morning I'm sitting on the floor in my bathroom so I don't wake up my husband <laughs> with some yarn and I learned how to do a granny square that beginning the four clusters that you have to do with the corners <laughs> so I can just see myself sitting on that bathroom floor learning how to do the granny square then my newbie series number three is how to do a straight granny square blanket and the straight the straight granny uh granny stitch blanket i use it all the time when i make a baby blanket it's my go-to pattern and the name of my go-to pattern for my baby blanket is Yarnspirations Easy Peasy Baby Blanket. And it's the straight granny stitch blanket. Next, I have listed here Premier Yarns Arden Throw Crochet Tutorial. So I have a tutorial for that and again I'll show you how to read the pattern and I really like that pattern from Premier Yarns. So look for that tutorial too. Then I have Kitchen Cotton Month. Okay, I have a playlist of kitchen cotton items. There's a tutorial in there to make uh, my hanging towels, the way I made those hanging towels. There is 31 videos in that playlist, and I show you some of my favorite uh, dish towel patterns. There's also patterns in there for trivets. And let's see, what else did I write down? Coasters and dusters and hanging towels but there's a whole bunch of there's 31 patterns right there of using kitchen cotton and there's there was 31 videos in that playlist and let's see what else i got premier crochet premier eyelet chevron throw you know the peaks and the valley valleys peaks and valleys there's a tutorial for that kind of a blanket. <clears throat> and again, I would be showing you how to read a pattern because my goal, as I've said two or three times, <laughs> is for you to le learn how to read a pattern. Because <clears throat> I have like this one lady, you know, she said, I'm so tired of just doing double crochets, but she doesn't know how to read a pattern. And she, you know, she's just stuck. She's just stuck. But you have to have the desire to learn how to read a pattern. And like I said in my last video, just if you have a pattern that you want to make and you're stuck, just send me an email. And I will do a tutorial for you or comment below. I want to help you guys out. That's what this channel was for. <clears throat> so I'm just sitting here crocheting. Working on my blanket because I want to get this blanket done before that pink yarn gets here. <laughs> And with my post office, that could be two more days. Yeah, it's just so funny. The last two days, we got our, our mail at 10.30. And today, right now, it is 1.40. <laughs> so it's just too funny. Just too funny. <clears throat> like a major event you know because it's a senior community what else have we got to do <laughs> but wait for the mailman 
So what else am I up to? I just have so many projects I want to get done. I'm sure you guys are the same way. So I'm just crocheting away, trying to think of something to say to you guys. <laughs> so did you guys see Christie's live last night with Stephanie? It was cool. They're so funny. Four double crochets. Oh, <clears throat> this hook is a Bella Coco's hook. It's a number four. <clears throat> I know that Christy said she really likes the Susan Bay ho Bates hooks. I found out that I'm not really a fan of the Susan Bates hooks because I was using a G. And it was kind of getting hung up. And see the Susan Bates, here's one right here. It has that tip that comes down way far. Whereas like this one from Bella Coco. I don't know if you guys can see it. If I can turn it. It doesn't come down as much. And... <clears throat> Christy from Christy's Closet likes those. Christy's Creations. But I found out I'm not a fan. Because I, I like Bella Coco's hooks. That came in the, um, the Advent. Remember, I got the Advent for Christmas. And then I bought four of her, um, months four months of her subscription boxes and so you always get a hook in those and my favorite are the odyssey um furls but i found out because i i was using this susan bates hook and it was just hanging up too much on my yarn Whereas Christy likes it because it grabs the yarn. And so we're all different. I like the boy hooks. If you're going to go, you know, with a beginner set. I like the boys better. B-O-Y-C-E, is that how you spell it? And then the, I like the Odyssey and these Bella Coco ones. So, you know, because at first you're thinking, oh, you know, crochet hook's a crochet hook. But it depends on how you rotate your um, hook. And it depends on how you grip your hook. Like I do it like a knife. And there's some people that do it like a pencil. But I, I wish that I wrapped my yarn around my finger different. Because if you guys look at my finger, see that? That's not good. <laughs> see, that's where the, the yarn has passed over my finger. I have some of those rings, you know, that look like a swan or a, a peacock. Peacock. But, and then I also... When I work on those the baby blankets, the straight granny stitch baby blankets, I have a yarn bonnet. <clears throat> what a yarn bonnet is, is it's a piece of crocheted fabric, and you do it in the round. 
and it's the, about an inch wide and you just run your yarn through it. It's the crochet bonnet. And then the yarn goes through there and it doesn't go on your finger. But <clears throat> see what I do is I get real far away <laughs> and I need to keep it, the yarn, in front of my knuckle so that it doesn't slip back to my thing. So that's my struggle. And when I wrap my yarn around a bunch of my fingers, it doesn't flow. So I just hold it in my hand like this. I don't have it wrapped around any of my fingers. So, because I've been watching, like, different girls in my crochet group, how they hold theirs. And I'm stuck. I'm stuck with the way I do it. So. But I need to keep it up on my finger close like this, but it always ends up back like here. So that's what I'm talking about. You know, up here is where it should be, but mine always ends up back here, and then I get that indentation in my finger. And I always worry that I'm going to cut or break the skin, and then, oh my goodness, it would be awful. <clears throat> I'm sorry that I'm keep clearing my throat I'm still taking nose drops to try to get rid of this leftover stuff <laughs> so I'm just crocheting with you guys I hope you guys are enjoying this And I hope you guys, you know, the newbies, like one lady said in her comments that she was looking forward to starting back crocheting. So watch some of my tutorials. Maybe there's a pattern there that you um, have been wanting to make or similar. Or just do the newbies. You know, start out by making a hat. That's what I try to do with people that I meet at the clubhouse, you know, that want to crochet. Um, I have them do a hat first because I want them to have something physical that they can see rather than, you know, just a sampler. So, and what that does is it teaches them, I don't start them out with the magic circle. I teach them, you know, the chain. Uh oh, I think I made a mistake right here. I'm gonna have to go back, but it's not very far. Okay, cool. So let's put a stitch marker where my mistake was. I forgot to do my chain three. So let's go back. <clears throat> That's what's good about this. You can find it in the next row. My nose is itching from the fuzz. Okay, so let's pull this back. See what I did wrong here. Something doesn't look right. Something doesn't look right. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so you show them how to do a chain, and then you show them how to do a double, and then you show them how to do a slip stitch. And that's why I start them out with making a hat. And then they have something that if they want to donate, they can donate. Or 
of course, you know, give it to a family member. <clears throat> and then next we did a granny. So if they wanted to make a blanket, they could. Or, you know, whatever. And then if they do a granny, then it, that incorporates the double crochets that we learned. And the slip stitches. That still doesn't look right, but <laughs> I'll find out. <clears throat> so that's kind of what's going on. I got the craft show this weekend. And then I'll be done with craft shows until November, as far as I know, in case... Unless somebody comes up with one that I haven't heard about yet. It's early. I usually start hearing about them in August. There's this one that I've done for so many years. They didn't do it last year. So I'm hoping that they haven't lost interest and that they'll go ahead and they'll do it. And then, of course, we're already getting ready to, for our next one in our community, we did very good. And it was a terrible rainy day, but people came out because it was just to their clubhouse, you know. And we sold lots of baked goods, and they sold some hot dogs, and it was very nice. Okay, guys, I'm running out of stuff to say to you. I hope you enjoy my video. Give me a shout out if you're interested in any patterns or tutorials you like. This list of tutorials I mentioned will be linked below. My email address is linked below. And if you'd like to buy some Premier Yarn, keep me in mind. There's a link below. Okay, you guys. Love you. Bye.